What's going on, everyone? Welcome to, uh, this game's called Project Cars. As you can see, sort of in the corner. It's made by Slightly Mad Studios, and it's sort of... I guess that you can call it the Minecraft of the racing game genre. It's one of those... It's really early in development, and you can basically pay a certain amount of money to get a certain level of membership in the site and basically what that allows you to do is download the game while it's being worked on so this is a pre-alpha I think and uh, basically if you I think I don't know how many levels there are there's quite a few levels there's like like a junior that's I, I can't even remember the prices there's like junior and there's like a team member or basically it dictates which versions of the game you can download so I think junior members can get like a copy like the latest game once a month so you basically get monthly updates whereas the different levels you can get like bi-weekly or weekly or or daily and it basically it also gives you different access on their form so you can kind of give them ideas and and really influence how the game is made so this is sort of the first time I've played this I've kind of played it for a few minutes to set up my wheel and stuff so I don't really know a whole lot about the game just gonna kinda dive in and kinda give it a first look so far from the few minutes that I've played it's pretty cool and right by the menu screen here you can see it is pretty sweet looking graphics I don't think you can pan around or anything but looks like a real car like you can't even really tell it's a video game so I think that's pretty cool so as you can see like there's some stuff that's not completed yet there's quite a few cars in the game there's quite a few tracks but I think the tracks are at different levels of completion like one one track I raced on for a minute it didn't seem like it had a lot of the track side objects in it it was just sort of like a the track itself like the road and that was pretty much it so I don't know any of the tracks so it's probably gonna be kind of painful to watch because I yeah without knowing the track I'm gonna be all over the place so I'm gonna start with this car um, and just doing a free practice for now just to kind of go through a couple of the cars maybe a couple of different tracks then I may may or may not try a race I probably will just to see what it's like but let's just jump right in I don't know how this sounds gonna be in this because my wheels probably kind of loud so and I have a shifter but I find using the paddle shifters works pretty good for these cars I don't know how much commentary I'm going to be able to do because it's I find it hard to uh, talk and drive so we'll see how it goes this car so far I found it to be pretty freaking hard to drive obviously I don't know how loud the force feedback motors on my wheel are going to be on the microphone so hopefully not too bad Hopefully I don't breathe too loud. Oh my god. This thing is a bit of a beast. Like I said, I don't really know the tracks that good, so don't expect a flawless performance. Oh, I'm gonna rhubarb it here. I like the grass particle effects and stuff, they're pretty cool. Like watch my mirror when I go off the track a little bit. It's kinda neat. You can look around. The force feedback is pretty good, it's really strong. This car is really twitchy. I have no setup loaded either, so probably could handle a lot better than it does. Oversteer's really bad. 
Jeez. Probably only do one or two laps with this car, then I'll switch to something else. Oh, this ain't gonna go very good. That's weird, I hit the shift down paddle, but it was shifting up when I was turning. Let me check something here. If I turn my wheel all the way around. See, it's not doing it there. I don't know how I made it. Maybe I hit the wrong button when I'm spinning like that. I don't freaking know. Terrible with this car. Probably overdriving it like usual. I can feel every bump in the steering wheel, that's pretty cool. Steering gets really um, uh, tough, I guess you could say, when you're going really slow, which is pretty realistic. A lot of games don't do that. Like if your car is stopped, it's really hard to turn the wheel. Not quite graceful, but. I'm starting to make a couple laps now. See, I was talking, I forgot to shift, that was great. Gonna wreck here, I'm sure. Not quite, but it wasn't pretty. Let's see if I can make this first corner, then I'll switch to another car. No. Let's try something else. Let's go to replay mode. Wow, that's an ugly car. Wow, that's funny looking. Alright. Aerial. Adam 500, Adam 300, V8. Wonder if how much different this one is. If it's the same, then I'm not gonna drive it. Be nice if you had previews of the car. Yeah, see, it's pretty much the same. It looks a little more high performance. All right, let's try whatever the heck this is. What is it? A Sono or a Sano? Oh my god, you can't even... Oh man. What the heck is this? That must be the one off the title screen. You can't see anything. Makes a lot of noise. Oh my god. You can't even see the corner. This one very much. Can't even see the road. Got a pretty cool cockpit though.
Wow. I find this one exceptionally hard to drive. I find the braking on the car is really unpredictable for some reason. Maybe because it's a lot more realistic than other games, I don't know. Really can't drive that car. I can't see around the can't see the apex of the corner. So X4 Touring. Wonder if that's different. Oh, let's find out. What the heck? Spaceship. Wow. It does not break very good. Yeah. People that actually play this game a lot are probably laughing at my video. I look like such a noob. I was in a rhubarb at that time. Uh oh. I love overdriving that corner. I feel like I get enough feedback on the braking. It's like, I don't know, it's just kind of weird. It's like there's not enough braking. Like the wheels don't lock up or squeal or anything. I mean, it's pretty alpha, obviously. Worst feedback is fighting on that one. Never go as fast as you feel like you should in that corner. Ah, 
made that corner at the time. This one on the other hand. A little slow. Can't tell where the track goes, man. Slow again. Locked him up that time, I felt it. Maybe it just takes a lap for two for your brakes to heat up and they start working better. It's possible, I guess. No! Might actually complete a lap. That was the last corner, the long one. Oh well. I did good for like a lap anyway. I don't like Catarn. It's like, kind of like the first one I drove, I think. Oh, let's take a look anyway. I think it looks a lot like the first one I tried. What the heck? I don't know how to change a camera view. At least I feel like this one has some brakes. Oh, this is kind of floaty. Come on, you can do it. Doesn't seem like it turns very good. Overall, could be pretty fun to drive, though. <laughs>